Early this year, we witnessed a fresh move of Holy Spirit in a new generation of young people. Today's guest is a traveling revivalist who ministers across North America and is seeing firsthand what God is doing. Sammy Robinson is here to report on the great things God is doing and then to pray for you. Don't want to miss this special program, so stay tuned for Lifeline Today. Welcome to Lifeline today. We are so glad you're part of the program. It's going to be mm -hmm. special. Uh, well, we think every program is special, right, Joel? <laughs> but <laughs> I guess. But because today it is going to be us. because we're going to do a quite a bit of ministry today. Yeah. And with us is Sammy Robinson. You, uh, you've known, if you know, watch this program, you know he's been with us before. Sammy flows in the word of knowledge and yeah. uh, the gift of healing and, and uh, faith in a very extraordinary way. And I want you to understand that. that not everybody does that, but God has gifted him this way. Yeah. And he does travel and minister in a lot of revival type services. I just want to encourage you, if you are watching the program, if you want to get into the prayer center, call right away at the beginning of the program. A lot of times viewers wait till the end, you know, and I'm just trying to get you opportunity to get a actual live person. Yeah. Uh, but welcome to the program, welcome. Sammy. Good to have you back. Good to have oh, you back. so good to be back. Thank you, You know, you we should tell this story because it does go back, what, 25 years, 24 years. Yeah. You were 17 years old. <laughs> yeah. You came with your dad to a TV program we were doing, and I gave you a prophetic word. Yes, that's right. And you've mentioned, I think you've mentioned this before, that just really did something for you. Absolutely. So I remember 17-year-old kid yeah. going with my dad and talking about revival and, and the prophetic in Canada. And uh, I remember you were like, you said this to me, you said, Sammy, God's going to use you for the next generation. And uh, you gave me this whole word about even with evangelism, ministering to young people. And, and you prayed for, you even prayed for the gift of faith for me. And yeah. this is where I know that impartation came on me, wow. Dick, because I started to see souls getting saved, wow. believing God for more. <laughs> and I just, you know, know that uh, this broadcast is going to be special. I could feel Amen. it. Amen. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, and you know, I should say right at the front end, because I'll say it again, mm -hmm. Sammy is our, one of our guests at Dominion Conference, yeah. June, uh, June 30th to July 2nd, mm -hmm. uh, right here in Lethbridge, right at our, con our conference center. And uh, you're going to be blessed because we have some great guests, but Sammy is a revivalist. So, mm -hmm. you know, going to be really <laughs> blessed by that. Come on. Yeah. 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 So we want to talk about what you're seeing right now. First of all, let's ask this question. You, we have a pre-COVID, during COVID, post-COVID. <laughs> and there has been some changes yes. going on in yeah. the body of Christ. So maybe give us some insight on that. So. I'll talk to you guys about a couple of things because, you know, going through COVID, there was no meetings mm -hmm. and, and a lot of people had to, to really pursue the Lord on their own. Yeah. Some did. And then we saw, I think on the other side too, where, where people probably got a little bit more complacent. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I will tell you this, coming out of COVID, going across this nation, God is on the move. Wow. Like he is moving. And a lot of this has to do with, there has been a portion of people that are getting hungry for the presence of God. Mm -hmm. They've realized all this other stuff, it doesn't matter. Yeah. All, all the things that maybe we thought that were important before. And, and, and what I mean by that is sometimes we get into a place where, you know, we, we like our preferences. Yeah. We get into a place where sometimes even for our churches, I'm yeah. just gonna be honest, we like, our pre we like things a certain <laughs> way, a certain time, a certain style. And what happened during COVID is, I feel like we got detoxed from that consumer mindset wow. Wow. where it made people think, wait a second, what's important? So we started seeing these pockets all across our nation. Mm -hmm. One of the places where God is moving like crazy is Quebec. And I know you guys wow. have been praying for Quebec for a long time. Yes. I know that there's been a ton of prayer from, yes. from Canada. God is moving in Quebec, and especially My. in the next generation. Wow. I just came from a, back from a conference a couple months ago. There was about 500, 550 people in the room. You guys, the glory of God, I can even mm. feel it right now. The glory of God came into this conference. Most of them, I would say, were under the age of 45. There were the, the touch of the Holy Spirit that was happening in that room. People were, were encountering the presence of Jesus. So many miracles, like notable miracles, you guys. We're 
talking about people that had chronic conditions for 20, 30 years, completely, totally healed. Blind eyes opening, deaf wow. ears opening. And this is where, you know, again, I want to say this, our prayers are being answered. Yeah. Like, like it's happening and we're starting to see coming out of COVID. It's like, wait a second. Some people would, th would think, well, you know, where, what is God doing during that time? He's been setting the stage oh my. for the greatest move of God I believe Canada has ever seen. Well, and the world. Uh, yes, come on. Amen. Yeah. And you know, I want to mention that your family originates from Quebec. That's right. Yeah. So, I mean, Charlie, we've had him on a program and talked about how he started there. And, yeah. And, yeah. So there, that's interesting that God would use you there. Come on. And I, I love it. And there's something about the French speaking people, the passion for the Lord, oh, their yeah. worship, you guys. Yep. Like we worship every single service for two, two and a half hours. It's amazing. But here's the thing. I believe it's happening all across the nation. Wow. And, and here's what I'm noticing is that God's responding to people's hunger. Yeah. And so we're seeing in places where, where there's hunger, there's a fire of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and God is bringing together people. And so in some areas that we've been into, church attendance has doubled. Some, wow. some places tripled coming out wow. because people are looking for answers. Yeah. And I'll say this right Right now, yeah. we need to be moved by the Holy Spirit. We we have to have another move of the Holy Spirit because the truth is, yeah. He's the only one that's going to guide us in this season yeah. with the Word of God yeah. to be able to navigate these days yeah. so that we can be in step with what God is doing. And so mm -hmm. I, I would just say, even to you guys, you know, we're seeing these pockets of revival that are taking place. And even, even in Northern Alberta, we're seeing God move. Mm -hmm. Edmonton, where yes. I live, there's been an amazing move of the spirit. Yeah. Uh, we just finished a, a couple of revival meetings out there. You guys, again, the miracles. Mm. And, and I'll tell you, we still serve a God of the miraculous today, creative miracles. We just had a lady testify that she had completely broken this bone right here in her body. The surgeon said, you're gonna have to have surgery. You're gonna go in full cast. Well, while I was ministering, God gives me a word of knowledge about this condition, the surgery, the whole thing. She comes forward in faith and she's like, you know what, I believe in God, today's my day for a miracle. And so we prayed for her. She's like, something's going on in my arm. I can feel wow. it. Now she's got a full cast on, wow. can't move this. But she's like, I am gonna go into the doctors and I'm gonna make them do another x-ray because my arm has been healed. Now, I'm thinking, okay, this is faith. And so she goes back to her doctors a couple yeah. days later. The surgeon is thinking, you are off your rocker. Like, yeah. like, what are you doing, right? You know, like, logically, they're thinking, okay, is this actually, like, what are you talking about, miracle? They do an x-ray. She's completely, totally healed. <laughs> no fracture, nothing. Complete and total healing. And you guys, we're seeing these, these breakthroughs. People are coming out of wheelchairs. Like, we're seeing in the last season, we had two people verified resurrections from the dead. Wow. God is on the move. Souls are getting saved. Interesting. I've heard of a few myself. Come on. You yeah. know, in different reports, different areas of people, like, after people died and then come back to life, you know, in yeah. a church service or in a meeting. Mm. It, it's true. Like it, what, with us, we had a lady. Now, this is what you don't want, Joan. We had we had a, a lady come to the service. I was preaching at. She died in the service. I was right. like, oh no! And yeah. the Lord spoke to me and said, "What are you going to do about it?" And I said, "I th okay. I think we need to raise her from the dead." And we <laughs> prayed. That woman, 15 minutes, no breathing, no pulse. Doctor, the associate pastor is a doctor, verified nothing going on. She was completely, totally healed and raised from the dead. Wow. I went back to that church a couple of months later, packed out you guys. You couldn't yeah. fit another body in the building. Yeah. So here's what I want to say is that there is, I can feel it. I don't know yeah. if you guys, I can I feel, can feel that, that anointing for healing. We're in a mm. move of the Holy Spirit. I believe 2023 is going to be a year of revival. Wow. I believe 2023 yeah. is going to be a year of miracle signs and wonders because the best is yet to come. Yeah. Why don't we start right now? Let's go. Yeah, you let's you said go. you feel it. You know, yeah. And I know that. I understand that because that's happened to me. So yeah. oh, just begin wow. looking at the camera. And Absolutely. Yeah. And and those that are watching right now, I want you just to get into that receiving posture. I can, I love Literally, as we were talking about the miraculous and what God's doing, I could feel the, the, the presence of the Lord on my right side. And God started to speak to me some words of knowledge right now. One of the things that God was going to heal was nerve damage. And so there's people on the broadcast that you've been suffering from nerve damage. Someone here, you've had an issue. There's a disc in your neck that is out of alignment, that's pinched, that's causing this nerve damage down your arm, 
tongue and it's this tingling. Well, right now in Jesus' name, we speak healing over that disc in the neck and we release right now the power of God over your body. Mm. You're going to start to feel, wait a second, my arm right now, I can feel my arm more. There's more, there's no pain. Lord, we thank you for the releasing of it right now in Jesus' name. Also, there's someone you're watching right now, you, you literally have a chronic headache. You're in a place right now of, of total pain. You've been having a hard time watching. I can see you squinting wow. right now at your television screen. There's an anointing coming. I can feel this over your head right now. We speak healing over the mind right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak that that, that headache, those migraines have to go now yes. in yeah. the name of Jesus. Also, I'm seeing this. There's someone watching right now and your lungs are in a bad shape. I, Your lungs right now there's something going on. There was an accident that took place. There was an accident that took place probably about a year and a half, two years ago, where one of the lungs started shutting down. There's a releasing of that anointing of healing over the lungs now in Jesus' name. I want you to take a deep breath because there's a releasing of that healing power. There's someone else you're watching. Hmm. My goodness, you're watching right now. And, and I can see that you've had this issue with your hip. Your hip is out and, and you're actually in a place right now where you're in line for a surgery, some kind of hip surgery. I want you to take your hand and put it on that part of your body right now. There's a releasing. Father, I thank you for that miracle working thank power you. coming over the hip. You're going to feel this right now. There's a readjustment that's coming into the hip bone. Lord, we thank you where there's been a grinding. Lord, I thank you that that's being healed now in the mighty name of Jesus. There's thank someone you, else that you're watching and uh, you've had this issue right now I can see that one there's like a lazy eye and, and there's been an issue with that vision there's a releasing of healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus father I thank you for the releasing of this I as I'm sharing this mm. I feel like I'm in someone's house this is good this is gonna sound different maybe to some of you but there's someone here you're watching there is you're sitting on a white couch you're in the middle seat looking at your TV. You've got another white couch to the left of you that seats two people. And there's another white couch that's there's a one person couch to the right of you. You're watching this broadcast right now. You are riddled in pain. I, I could list off and, and you're thinking to yourself, that is me. You've got about 15 issues that are going on in your body. God's about to release right now. There's a healing anointing over your body now in Jesus' name. We thank release you, that miracle anointing. It's starting right now from the top of your head. Lord, I thank you that that ringing in the ears goes now. The issues in the neck right now are healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we release it now in Jesus' wow. name. Wow. You know, I want to explain that our viewers understand this, but most of you do, I'm sure. But uh, this has happened to me where I receive words of knowledge yeah. just like you do. But Sammy, I've never seen anyone as prolific. And one of the reasons is, is that he has been faithful. You know, God gives you a little, he begins to expand it. And that's what mm -hmm. has happened here. Sammy has just expanded that gift and it's enlarged. And, and literally we have seen him in this very ministry in a service prophesy or have words of knowledge over every single person yeah. in that service. Uh, you know, that rarely happens. Yeah. That's a very rare thing. But it's only because you've been yeah. faithful mm -hmm. and it is your calling. It comes with the revivalist calling. Absolutely. That, that's how revival happens. And look in the New Testament, how many times that a miracle, just yeah. one miracle, would just cause a domino effect and set off, a, like a catalyst, a revival in the whole area. Revival. And and Jesus, same thing, right? Yeah. Uh, man, releasing the Gadara. The, the demoniac of Gadara, when he was healed, they now tell you that archaeology has shown that there were numerous churches in the entire area of the Gadara in the years, the decades following Christ's ascension. Mm. And so that tells you what happened just through one miracle like Come that. On. So I want to encourage you that if you're hearing these words of knowledge and... Uh, and don't think like, well, is it mine or not? I'm telling you, if it sounds like you, grab it. You grab it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, God will meet you where your faith is. Yeah. Uh, and so just do that. And I, Lord, I just release not only the Thank faith, you, but the discernment in the yes, hearts Lord. of our viewers yes, to Lord. really understand that this is huh. the Lord healing them mm. and that is reaching out to them. By the way, it is... The, it is the word of knowledge from the Lord, but it's your faith yeah. by receiving it yes, that brings yeah. the healing. And I, so I was just praying, Sammy, there's someone with 
you have half, you've been told half your heart isn't functioning mm. or functioning properly. And um, you're a man, and I, I just want to speak to you right now that you've sat there and said, this is it for me. I, I don't think there's any hope. But I just see the Holy mm. Spirit touching your heart, healing your heart, healing your muscles, healing those vessels, blood vessels in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, just real have compassion for that person. You're stirring it up, you see. Yeah. <laughs> come on, <laughs> Sammy. We're going to come back after a bit, and uh, we're just going to share these things with you. We've got some more prayer and ministry we're going to do for you. Remember, Sammy's going to be with us here at uh, Dominion Conference, so you can see him in person. We'll tell you more about that. Help change the spiritual climate of Canada by becoming a monthly partner with Lifeline Today with Dick and Joan. All donors will receive this year's Lifeline Today fridge magnet, a reminder that you stand together with Dick and Joan for Canada. Pledge your support for $25 a month and receive Joan's book, Five Hours in Heaven. In this book, she recounts her visitation to heaven where she experienced a transforming atmosphere of God's love. A must read for those who have loved ones in heaven. Partner at $50 a month and also receive this authentic anointing oil from Israel along with prayer cloths, powerful spiritual aids when releasing your faith for healing and miracles. Lifeline Today has also commissioned this beautiful flag as a testament to our faith in God for the nation of Canada. Suitable as a home or garden flag, it can also be used as a wall hanging or prayer shawl as you pray for Canada. It's our thank you gift to you for your faith-filled partnership of $100 a month. Your tax-deductible donation will empower this ministry to release the prophetic voice of God across our nation. Call today and say yes to becoming a partner with Dick and Joan. Isaiah 49 16 says, Behold, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are continually before me. This is a beautiful prophecy of hope and promise for God's children. It's one of the most tender looks at the heart of God for his people. The compassion of the Father is beyond what we can comprehend. God will never leave us or forsake us. We often fail to keep in mind those we are supposed to love in this world. We get distracted and consumed with our own troubles and feelings, and for this reason, we tend to think God is like us, distracted from us. We think because we have not been thinking of Him, He has not been thinking of us. God is not like this. He is perfectly faithful. God loves us so much and He cares about every detail of our life. Are you facing an impossible circumstance today? If so, give us a call here at the Lifeline Today Prayer Center. Let us agree with you in prayer for breakthrough for whatever circumstance you're facing. Our number is 403-942-0123 or email prayercenter at dickandjoan.com. With us is Sammy Robinson, and he's been ministering by words of knowledge for yeah. you, and we're praying for healing, and, and uh, we're just going to give opportunity for this, but uh, I want people to know this is what the New Testament says was normal. Yeah. yeah. You know, it and is. it goes with the gift of evangelism. Yes, it does. You know, many sure. people who yeah. aren't saved get healed first. Then they, that's what and brings then they them get to the saved, Lord. And then it spawns revival. Absolutely, because right? a word of a knowledge all of a sudden makes people aware, wait a second, yeah. God sees me. Yeah. Amen. And it's that point of contact where I believe that's where faith grows. Yeah. Right. And and I know even yeah. now as we're talking, I can feel yeah. just God speaking to us. It's going to be very, <laughs> very good. Something stirring. Come on. But can I, I just make do it... this? At, uh, you know, while you were praying, the Lord gave me a word and I saw a woman sitting on her chair in the living room. She's watching this program right now. And you have a crippled leg and you were a child and you had polio and you grew up with a crippled leg as a result of polio. The Lord says, I wanna heal you now for my glory. Wow. And so Father, wow. I, and as I'm praying for you, I just hear bones and joints clicking and moving. Mm. And so I thank you, Father, for a full uh, miraculous healing uh, for this woman, for her leg, she will be able to walk and run and leap. And Lord, I thank you that it would be a sign and a wonder to those around her. Lord, I thank you for the faith that just right now is being imparted yes. to her to grab this yes. because it's going to be a really amazing thing to dr draw people to the Lord. So Father, I release that miracle in Jesus' name. Yeah, come on. Yeah, go ahead, Samuel. Hallelujah. I, I could feel this as you were just talking. I could feel the presence of God. There's creative miracles that are creative about to take miracles. place. Yeah. There's a, a lady, this most interesting name. Your name is Edith, E-D-I-T-H. 
you're watching the broadcast, you're actually, you're, you're, uh, you're a faithful viewer. I actually <laughs> see, I see one of the things that you love to do is that you like to make handwritten cards. And I see these handwritten cards. Here's my word for you, is that the glory of the latter is gonna be greater than the former. God's gonna to touch your body right now mm -hmm. because there's been weakness and you've been struggling with weakness in your body. And, and it's like the, the lack of energy, some pain. Lord, we release that healing anointing right now mm -hmm. in the mighty name of Jesus. There's also, there's someone else you're watching right now and you're in a dire strait. You're actually, uh, you're, you're watching and your husband needs a job. This is wild. Your husband needs a job right now. And you've been praying for the last two months because there's bills that need to be paid. There's things that are going on. And, and you're like, Lord, you are our provider. Mm -hmm. And you've been praying. There's a breakthrough being released. I, Lord, I thank you. We agree right now that there's a releasing of work for your husband and there's finances coming to you now in the mighty name of Jesus. There's also someone watching and mm -hmm. uh, there's been an issue with your tongue. You've had this issue. There's the, the doctors don't know what it is, but there's been this, this numbness, but also a lack of sensation to be able to taste. There's a releasing of healing coming over you now in the mighty name of Jesus. There's also one more thing that I want to pray for. I see there's a uh, someone watching mm. and your granddaughter, wow, your granddaughter who's, I, I believe she's around seven or eight years old. Mm -hmm. She's got dark brown hair and she struggles at night and she's actually slept over at your house before. The only reason why you know that she struggles at night is because when she came over to stay at your house, she was having these episodes of panic and terror. God's breaking that off now in the name of Jesus. There's a releasing of deliverance that's coming. Every single thing that's attacking your granddaughter right now, Lord, I thank you that that goes now in Jesus' name. There's, all, there's also, if I can say one more thing, there's mm -hmm. someone here with, uh, right now there's been constriction in the chest. God's releasing healing over you now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Wow. You know, I want to mention that you, uh, Sammy, wow. you were with us uh, for a Sunday service about five years ago, and you picked out a young man in, in the congregation sitting way at the back. Yeah. And uh, his name was Daniel, and you picked him out and you prophesied over him. You did not know that was our grandson. Come on. And the prophecy was exactly right Come on. on. Yeah. And I say that because I want to build faith in people's hearts. Yeah. The Lord gave me a word for someone named Ian. And you're an older gentleman. And what is happening is you're, you're, you have dizzy spells. You're dizzy most of the time, but the come and go intensity, they become more intense. And there's, uh, you really are troubled by this. You want you want to be set free, mm -hmm. and and I don't know the cause. It's physical. What I speak a word of healing. Mm -hmm. I say dizziness, be healed, and Thank become you. whole in Jesus' name, yeah. so that you have your balance. So, uh, you know, sometimes the Lord gives us a, a word for the first name. Mm -hmm. Not always. Yep. You know, mm -hmm. there, sometimes it's not necessary, but sometimes it is for that person. Uh, just to hear their name. And so we've had this happen many times where people respond and say, that was me. Wow. You know, you mm -hmm. said this. And Sammy, I know, I want you to know uh, at home that he is very accurate. That's why I told the story of our grandson. And you really were dead on Come with on. him. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, just where what the word you had for him. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I want to encourage you to do that. So I'm seeing in the spirit right now, there's a woman watching who, uh, at first I thought, you know, that you had lost your daughter, that there was a death, but I don't think it is that. I think that you don't know where your daughter is and you're really grieving over wow. your daughter. I see you going yeah. into her room and picking up a mm. blanket that your daughter slept with. Wow. And uh, not a little one, maybe That's a touching. teenager. And you're picking up a blanket and, wow. and just taking that blanket to your heart and saying, God, where's my daughter? Where's my daughter? Well, you know what the Lord says? I know where your daughter is and I'm bringing her home. And so Father, I thank you right now that you just release the angels and that you find that mm. daughter and that you put in her heart, Lord, the desire to go home. And Father, whatever has happened yeah, between the mother be. and the daughter here, I say it be absolutely reconciled in yeah. Jesus' yeah. name. Bring you great glory in yeah. the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Yeah, I just, I just saw something right now. There's a, a, 
there's a few of you that have been suffering with arthritis and I can feel there's an anointing coming over people's hands that have been struggling with arthritis today. And in particular, there's one woman, you literally just prayed this to the Lord because anytime you pick up things, uh, your hands hurt. But the thing that really, really is on your heart is, God, I want to be able to turn the pages of my Bible without wow. pain. God is about to heal your so hands good. right now. Father, I thank you for the releasing of that anointing. I want you to start yes. to move your hands. You're going to notice that all of a sudden, wait a second, that pain's no longer in my hands. Someone else here today with carpal tunnel be healed now in Jesus' name. You're going to start to feel a strength coming in your wrist. Father, we thank you for the releasing. Also, uh, as Joan was talking, I literally went into this encounter. I, wow. There's someone here you're watching. You're actually in the middle of a transition. You don't have a house. You're watching today right now. Your suitcases are actually in the trunk of your vehicle. I, I want you to do something because you haven't done this yet. I want you to believe with me with prayer, but you also need to phone in the prayer line because I actually believe there's going to be a twofold. There's a breakthrough right now that's taking place, but there's also going to be a releasing of a strategy for you in this next season because you've been asking, Lord, Lord, where am I going? What do I do? Father, I thank you for the releasing of that breakthrough now. Lord, you know the situation that you're they're going through. And Lord, I thank you for the releasing of the strategy in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So let me encourage you with something. Uh, when I see, and it's, we have many decades of experience of doing live television with this kind of ministry. When I see this, it represents a very small percentage of what God is actually doing. Yeah. That there is actually a, an open heaven for you to receive something right now. And there's people right now, you're crying out like, he hasn't said, what is my need? Nobody's mentioned what mine is, you know. You don't need that. All you need to know is the Holy Spirit is moving. Yeah. Amen. He's already picking out people, even by name. But I will tell you this, there is a anointing, we call that, or a presence of the Lord yeah. to touch you right now. Amen. And I want you to do this, lay a hand on yourself wherever you are. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And receive a word for yourself. Mm. I speak a word of healing yes, Lord. for you. You are not forgotten. You are not on the sideline. You are not minimal in God's eyes. You are his child. I declare healing. I declare an answer to prayer. I declare a financial miracle. This has really came up in my heart. Somebody, you said, I'm crying out for a miracle in my finances. I need a breakthrough. I'm in crisis. I declare it in Jesus' name. Release it in Jesus' name. God, you are the supplier. Yes, you are. This isn't what these gifts here and the words of knowledge wow. are not the supply. They're yeah. just simply reflecting what God wants to do. Yes. But it's the power of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the power of God touching you Hallelujah. at your home and not us. It is God <laughs> doing it. Thank God for that. Thank you, Sammy, for oh sharing with us. Man, this is great. It's been so good. Thank you. Yes. Yes. We I always have fun when you come on the program. It's always <laughs> Can like... I just say, it goes so quick every time I'm with you. I know it thank... does. We and need again, more time. Thank you for your guys' hearts for everything Bless you do. Bless you. It's awesome. Bless you. We're going to have you Bless back. You He's here for Dominion Conference, <laughs> June 30th to July 2nd. You've yeah. got to be here, okay? Yeah. You can register online. And God bless you for being a part of the program. Remember, we're praying for you. Yeah. And together, we're going to see Canada saved. saved. Amen. This program is supported by viewers like you, and we thank you for partnering with us. We want to hear from you. Send us your prayer requests, praise reports, and comments about the program. To watch past episodes, learn about the ministry, or contact us, visit our website at dickandjoan.com. You can also find us on Facebook at Lifeline Today with Dick and Joan, and on our YouTube channel, Dick and Joan TV.